All right, good morning, guys. It is, I, okay, first of all, I fell off the vlog train yesterday. Um, after that class and my meeting, I was just kind of wiped. So, came home, made some dinner, and cleaned a little bit, and I went to bed because I have been awake since 3.30 a.m. yesterday. I couldn't fall back asleep, so I was very tired. Um, so I basically stayed up to test my sugars and have the snack that I needed before bed, and then I was out for the count. I was so tired, but I did sleep pretty well last night, which was so nice. It was really great finally getting a good night's sleep. And now it is officially day number one, full day number one, I should say, of tracking my, my glucose levels for my gestational diabetes. So, making some breakfast, which honestly, for me, breakfast is the easiest meal to like stay, to like plan for, and like, cause I'm pretty routine. I eat eggs with cheese and then some kind of carb. However, I will say, I was just looking it up and there are so many more carbs in things than I realized. Not, not that I really, I mean, obviously I know there, there's a lot of carbs in like a bagel, but I did not realize that, you know, well, especially for gestational diabetes, your breakfast should actually be the lowest carb meal of the day. Um, and I, like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have like half a bagel maybe with some peanut butter or, cause I realized we were out of bread. And then I realized that even half a bagel is 36 grams. That's my entire, more than my entire carb allotment for breakfast um, in half of a bagel. And I was like, what? So this is gonna be a very enlightening experience, I feel like, just making me very aware. I will say carbs is not something I have ever tracked. Um, I think I mentioned this maybe earlier in this video or in the last video. Really, I only try to track protein um, because that was what I struggled with the most. I feel like I didn't feel like carbs were negatively affecting me, so I didn't really think about it. Um, this is, this is going to be a nice little challenge to myself. That's how I'm looking at it. Um, obviously it is a very serious health condition. I'm aware of that, but also like just, it's kind of a, like a game with yourself. It's like, you know, you get to test your sugar, see how you did. I mean, and it's not always like, you know, it's not always like, oh, you did good. You did bad. But, um, when I started tracking yesterday, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of fun. Also, pricking the finger, not nearly as bad as I thought. Um, I was remembering back to when I donated blood in high school and they have to prick your finger for your blood type. And that needle or lancet that they use is so much worse than these. These, you barely feel it, honestly. Like, it's not bad at all. So anyway, I'm making my breakfast. So what I'm making, I have three eggs scrambled with a third cup of shredded cheese and then I am right now just making my carb section <laughs> I'm making just um a small banana with two tablespoons of natural peanut butter um peanut butter is a really good food a really good fat to incorporate obviously if it doesn't have sugar so um, making that and then I'm gonna make a coffee I do still have a couple carbs left so um, coffee doesn't count as any carbs it's a great especially black coffee and then half and half is fine it's considered like a quote-unquote free food um, well, just half and half not creamer creamer is different but I am gonna put a little bit of that just a little bit of that caramel syrup in because I think the amount that I use should be fine actually let me, let me check that I think I have five grams of carbs left to use up for breakfast. Yeah. Wait, right? Or do I only have 30? Hang on. I took a picture of this little like cheat sheet they sent us. Oh, 30 to 45. Okay, so I had more than I thought. Um, okay, so I'll be fine. But just for reference two tablespoons, which I don't think I'll use that much. I think I'll only use one tablespoon. Oh, 
is 26 grams of carbs. Just kidding. We'll just have some, uh, something else. <laughs> Let me look at this guy. Yeah, I'll have some more carbs. Okay, so if I did half of that, though, I'd still be under the 45. So, right, I have 30. So if I did half, okay, so I can do one tablespoon and still be within my carbs. See, just the, the way that you have to kind of shift your brain a little bit, it's a little bit of a game, a little bit of a, some people would call it a nuisance. <laughs> but I'm choosing to look at all of this positively because the second that I start getting frustrated or negative, it's all downhill. I was talking with my best friend about this last night. I was like, I, she's like, you have such a good attitude about this. Like that's going to carry you through. And I'm like, I know, I just know that I have to stay lighthearted and not even just positive, but just lighthearted about all of this stuff because I don't want to be miserable at the end of my pregnancy. And I feel like a lot of it is your mindset. Like, yes, pregnancy, especially at the end is really hard, but if you keep stay just keep more of a lighthearted mindset around it and that is going to completely change everything like i like to joke about how horribly i sleep and how my back hurts and i literally just got sucker punched in the gut with gestational diabetes high blood pressure all the things i just had a cardiology appointment yesterday to check make sure my heart's okay which it is just you know so you know but anyway it's a short period of our life and then we're, we're never going to be the same again gonna be over and we'll probably miss it so anyway I'm gonna eat breakfast and make my coffee and we have a busy day today um I have a lot of work to get done I not a lot but I have like several hours worth of like heads down work that I have to do I have a meeting with a event planning family for a graduation party next spring um and then Jonathan and I are going grocery shopping for all the diaper keg stuff um, we have to go to, we're going to start at Costco when he gets off while I'm finish, finishing my meeting. And then we have to run to Walmart to get some like random one-off things. And I'm sure we'll have to go back to Walmart tomorrow and Costco. We'll have to get ice tomorrow. So like, anyway, just getting all the groceries and then we're going to clean the house. I need to finish up work. That is the look at today. Oh, I also at around like 930 after I grab the car from Jonathan I have to run to my friend Abby's house I'm giving her flowers and eggs <laughs> she's making deviled eggs for our diaper keg it's like her thing well it's one of her many things and so I told her I would if she would do it I would give her the eggs from our chickens for it so dropping those off I also had some flowers for her and then she's actually giving me some tomatoes stuff from her garden um, that she got we're doing a little like a little homestead swap so uh, that'll be a little bit later today but that is today it's gonna be a busy jam-packed day especially the morning I just have a lot to get done uh, before this meeting and then we're going into all the things so diaper keg is tomorrow um, I have to self tan tonight I need to there's lots yeah lots to do just lots of like little little things but we're excited for the day I just jabbered for 10 minutes but welcome back gonna be a good Friday all right ate breakfast got some work done and I'm Jonathan's almost here so I'm gonna drop him back off at work take the car to drop off my stuff for Abby and then we'll be back to do more work and my dogs think they're coming with I literally start turning off lights and they're like oh, where are we going where are we going nowhere they're going nowhere anyway um so I'm just double checking our grocery list I think I have everything on here I feel like we're gonna for sure have to make a couple trips to Walmart but we already know we have to go to Costco tomorrow so if we forget something major we can always go back and grab it but I just don't know like I don't know how many people to expect like we have 26 people or 27 people RCP'd, but I know there's people that haven't RCP'd that are coming. And I know there's plus ones that aren't RCP'd. So like we might have like 50 to 75 people coming through and I just don't want to run out of like food and drinks. But I also don't want to be sitting on like copious amounts of leftover food and drinks because the drinks won't get drank. <laughs> Not from me. Um, and the, I mean, the food will get eaten eventually, but I just... It's just better if it's like fresh and we just have like a decent amount. So I'm sure the food will get eaten. I'm sure we'll probably run out at some point. Um, but it's kind of the way our house parties always work is people kind of, well, first of all, it's a lot of Costco people. So some of them work till late 
and so they won't come till like later later like eight or nine which is when for me mentally I will be wrapping up the party but I just know it's gonna go late and then some people will show up like right away at three so it's like you know and it's kind of like an open house style like come and go grab some food grab some drinks play some games head out whatever like it's not like a formal shower um so anyway I just I don't really know what to expect but it's not the end of the world if you run out of food we can always like order pizza or something there's a Domino's down the street so we've got options but we're both like we literally have no idea what to expect for numbers so anyhow we'll figure that out later all right back home for a little bit and actually maybe less time even than I think um our homestead swap is done <laughs> so many beautiful tomatoes and then she gave me some basil because I she made a good point she's like you could make bruschetta and I'm like that's such an easy appetizer we have boards in the fridge so we could do our like go-to appetizer is um sliced baguettes and boars and cheese and you like broil the bag baguettes so many bees broil the baguettes and then top with some olive oil and then spread it with boards and cheese and it's like such a crowd favorite it's so easy we always have it on hand so i think i'm out of baguettes but um we're going to costco so i think we're gonna do that and then i'll make a big well not big but like a batch of bruschetta and then i think i'll bring it out as like a later appetizer like a midway point um just because you know if we have like a leg or if we have an, like, an extra surge we can make more but it's just like the bread you want to be warm kind of so i don't want to have like toasted bread that's like room temperature you know anyway all right so i have literally like an hour before i have to leave for my meeting but honestly now that i think of it i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take my computer to the office work up until that meeting at the office and then head to start grocery shopping with Jonathan. So um, I think I'll just be a little bit more productive that way um, if I can just sit and work until they get there. So the dogs are outside and then I'm gonna bring them back in, kennel Sadie, and head to the office. I think my dogs have like a giant piece of mulch that they're like playing with. They're playing keep away. And it, not gonna lie, it looks like a giant dog turd. <laughs> I was like, what do you have? It was just a piece of, I think it's a piece of mulch. I don't know what else it would be, but the things that my dogs find in my backyard, you just, you never know what you're going to get. So, um, that is the plan. These tomatoes are actually so good. I was just like eating a couple. Um, she has these little pear, gold pear cherry tomatoes. So good. Mmm. And then her like grape tomatoes are huge. And then we got some Romas, which I'll probably add to our salsa batch, which I did not start. Probably should have done that, but it only takes two hours on the smoker. Jonathan thinks we can smoke the brisket and the salsa at the same time. We'll see. because we haven't had lunch yet it's three o'clock we are running behind i still have work to do when i get home and we have to start cleaning and prepping food so the day is getting away from us but that's okay so anyway i got a bowl which i've never gotten before um actually it's why we went to jersey mike's because it's some an easy place that i knew i could get something like this and not hopefully not spike my blood sugars. So all it is, is it's sub in a tub is another way that people describe it, but it's just everything you would get on the sandwich just without the bread. And it makes me sad watching Jonathan eat a sandwich with the bread, but 
here we go. Um, I'm gonna try this when I get home. So hopefully it's good. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, we are home. And the verdict on the seven a tub slash bowl from Jersey Mike's, 10 out of 10. It was just as satisfying as the sub. Although I did have one bite of Jonathan's sandwich with the bread on it. But then when I, like I had that first and then I ate mine and I was like, this is literally just as satisfying. 10 out of 10 recommend if you are of the gestational diabetes diagnosis or if you're just looking for like a healthier option, way to cut carbs. I'm not keto, I don't recommend keto, but low carb slash balancing your blood sugars. Great, great recommendation. Um, all right, the time has come to start prepping for the diaper keg. So I am starting making my smoked salsa. We've got all of our veggies kind of started, rounded up over here. Um, well, some of them at least. <laughs> and we are going to get started. It's super easy. Um, all you do is chop up your veggies, roughly like big pieces. Um, I usually half all my veggies and then throw them on the smoker for two hours and take them off, let them cool, blend them up. That's it, sit in the fridge to cool off. So uh, super easy, it's not rocket science and people love this salsa, you guys, I'm telling you, it is a hit every time. So I'm literally making a giant bowl of it, double batch. Um, and this also works great if you want to not formally can it. I've never actually canned it, like pressure canning and water canning, anything like that, but it, it keeps for a long time in the fridge. So if you want to make big batches, put them in cans and give them to friends. I've done that before. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I do and we're gonna get this party prep started. two hours that our veggies have been on the smoker so can, can you hang on a minute please ma'am oh, here we go and we're gonna go take the veggies off the smoker blend them up and stick them in the fridge before my dogs start screaming because they want dinner okay so here is our veggies all smoked up and then I'm gonna add these tomatoes that I did not smoke and then I have some more Campari tomatoes um, over there that I don't didn't smoke as well if I need to add more but um, basically the reason I do this is because there's a lot of natural sugars in tomatoes and when you heat them aka smoke them it brings out a lot of the like sweetness and I don't like my salsa to be sweet um, so I found that by not smoking quite all of the tomatoes, it helps a little bit. Honestly, I probably could have left a few more out, but it'll still be good. It's just my, I'm like very picky when it comes to salsa. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw all this in the food processor. I'm also going to chop up some cilantro and some limes and squeeze a bunch of lime juice in there. And my one secret ingredient is these, which I don't have a ton of them, but they are really spicy. So keep that in mind. These are chipotles in adobo sauce. And I add these in there. They add an amazing extra like smokiness to it. However, they are spicy. So be careful. But honestly, 
there's not a whole lot left in this jar i'm just gonna add in what's left and call it a day and then i do add salt to taste um it's again that's one of those things you can't really measure but um yeah let's go ahead and blend her up okay so literally all i'm gonna do is start dumping these veggies in the food processor getting them all processed and then i'm gonna dump i'll have to do it in batches because there's a lot of veggies in here so i'll dump the mixture in here and then stir it all together add the lime juice and cilantro actually i might just add the cilantro at the end um i gotta look up do i use garlic in this we just bought we bought minced garlic because i don't like messing with the peeling and everything um i think i'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic again just to like add some more flavor so i'll add that in again it's just the mint so we'll just mix it in at the end but i'm gonna start dumping this in and here we go Okay, I just thought I was recording a whole taste test, um, but I did taste it. Uh, we added all the lime, the garlic, cilantro, some salt, and it tastes really good. I'm gonna wait to add anything more until tomorrow after it sat overnight and let the flavors all mend together and get cold because it's like kind of it's like warm right now from being on the smoker. So um, it tastes really good. It's got the perfect amount of like. A little bit of a kick but it's not I wouldn't call it spicy we like spicy salsa but I know not everyone does so I don't want to like I don't know I don't want to like make this super spicy salsa that not everyone's gonna enjoy so it's got enough it's got good flavor that's the important part um, gonna stick this in the fridge and then I need to start cleaning um, the only other like food thing that I need to do tonight Jonathan is he has the brisket on the smoker so that'll be going for the next 10 hours. He's like, it's gonna be a long night. Um, but I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies and I, I honestly might just make the dough tonight and then bake them tomorrow. I just don't wanna have a bunch of dishes sitting in the sink tomorrow. Um, so I might do that. But my other, even more important priority is cleaning and like putting stuff away. Like it's not that we have to actually clean that much. It's just like putting stuff away, decluttering, and just making it look a little bit nicer we literally have food spread throughout every surface like in this house like all of the like dry goods and stuff that doesn't have to be refrigerated is literally just spread throughout our house so um anyway jonathan's mowing the lawn i'm gonna start cleaning up and neatening up and then we'll see if i get to the cookies we'll see how much i can speed clean in the next two hours and we'll go from there all right it's time to make my chocolate chip cookies um, I think I have posted this recipe before. I'll try to remember to put it in the comments. Um, made this probably 50, 60 times and they hit every time. The one key is do not over bake them. Um, so I can make these. It's not anything special in the recipe really. Um, I just realized we don't have any one cup measuring cups, so I'm going to be doing a lot of scoops of flour because I'm making a double batch. So, is this even big enough for a double batch? Might be a little overflowy. So, we'll see. Might have to mix the chocolate chips in by hand, but here we go. All right, we're pushing it here. Oh. 
You guys, the cookie dough is my favorite part of cookies. So good. All right, we've got our double batch. This is gonna make so many cookies in the morning. <laughs> oh, and I can't even have as many as I normally would, which is a bummer, but that's why I'm making them for a party. Maybe I'll wipe this out. All right. I'm going to cover this and stick it in the fridge overnight and we will bake in the morning. I think I'm going to, excuse me, I think I'm going to end the vlog here for the night and I will check back in with you guys in the morning. Diaper keg day. Tonight, honestly, I'm just gonna take it easy. I need to shower, shave, self tan, do some more laundry. But the house is pretty much clean, except for my mess that I just made. And um, we're just doing like random little things. Jonathan's tending to the brisket, although he's gonna need to go to bed very soon because he's been up since 3.30 um, for work. But I am going to wrap it up here and I will see you guys in the morning. Diaper keg day. All right, good morning friends. Today is the day. It is diaper keg day. So we're off to a little bit of a later start. We slept in a little bit. Um, Jonathan was up a couple times throughout the night with the brisket. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous, but if you've ever smoked a brisket or a large piece of meat, you just, you know how it goes. It takes a long time. There's a lot of steps. And anyway, so it turned out great. Um, but we have lots to prep this morning and I need to make a coffee. I just had my breakfast again, a late start. And with gestational diabetes, you're not supposed to go more than like eight to 10 hours without eating. And I went like 13 hours, which is not great. So we'll see. It would not, a, maybe not a great start for the day. Um, but I had lower carb breakfast. So Hopefully that will help. I think I was only at like 22 grams and they say like your max should be like 35 to 45. I'm gonna make a coffee though um, and that'll add a little bit, but I'm also like, okay, being lower on my carbs because I feel like with this stuff, like I'm gonna allow myself to, you know, go off plan a little bit for lack of a better term um, today, just because it's a special occasion. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of like more carb heavy foods. I do have some healthier options mostly for me, but you know, veggies and dip and that's it <laughs> for healthy options, like some bruschetta, salsa, you know, things like that. Um, but anyway, on the list, I need to put these cookies in the oven. I need to prep the mac and cheese that we're going to smoke. I need to just like neaten up a couple little last minute things. We got to do dishes. I have to get ready. Um, I have to prep bruschetta and I need to figure out, I need to get like everything in coolers. Jonathan took the dogs to my dad's, um, my brother's in town. My, one of my older brothers is in town and he went with his dog at his house. So we're gonna take them over there so they can play before they have to go in the kennel. Um, and it just makes our lives a little bit easier and then we'll go get them again tonight. But he's also going to run to Costco to get ice for the coolers um we need cups for like drinking games and stuff um and for if people for, we're making like a vodka punch and one more thing he's worried that we should have more pulled pork so anyway hopefully we're not getting an excessive amount of food because i don't th i think it'll get eaten i mean there, there might be some stuff left over but i think the group that we know that are coming they're eaters so um, and it's going to go well into the evening. So anyway, that is the plan. So we got to just, I basically am just doing a bunch of food prep this morning um, and just neatening up. We're going to have quite a few dishes and getting all the drinks in order. So it's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a fun day, but I need coffee because I am dragging. I should have, I woke up at like 745. I should have gotten up. I feel like that's why I'm sluggish is I just stayed in bed too long, but I'm going to make a nice coffee and get the show on the road. Lots to do today. Okay, coffee is made and we are ready to get this show on the road. Um, normally, 
when I do a single batch of these, I just cook it one pan at a time. But because we're at a time crunch, I think I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna have to wash. But Turkey, almost ten thirty. I love these things, you guys. It makes it so you don't even have to really wash your pan. Um, <clears throat> we use one of the pans for the brisket. So I literally have flour on my vlog camera from last night. We're going to portion up these cookies, pan up, plate up these cookies, and get them in the oven. All right, we're making the mac and cheese, and she's cheesy. Lots of liquid, lots of cheese. This is a TikTok recipe. Fingers crossed, it turns out. Our gal that posted this said, just trust the process. It's like the best mac and cheese ever, super creamy. So, and we're smoking it. She did not smoke it, but here's we go. No, we don't. And we have got what we call white trash dip. I need to find a more socially acceptable name for it. Um, it's like cream cheese, Italian sausage and rotel, cookies I need to plate up, mac and cheese obviously, pulled pork heating up in here, brisket, all the snacky stuff right here. And I am going to make our vodka punch that we're making um, right now. So got this big drink dispenser. I believe it's from Walmart. I don't know, I've had it for years and I use it like once or twice a year. But we put pineapple juice and, and then a cranberry pineapple and just a cranberry juice bottle. And then we put Sprite and vodka in it and that's it um you can put like fruit in there for garnish but we don't we don't care we're just making a big old batch of cocktails here so you can dump all this in um did you you oh yeah you opened this pineapple juice last night so i'm gonna dump this in and then we'll show you what we got Now I gotta figure out how much vodka and Sprite to add in here. Which you're gonna have to do the taste test today. Okay, I'm gonna start with six cans of Sprite and see how sparkly that gets us before I even add the vodka. And then I'm gonna have Jonathan taste test <laughs> because, you know. The, th the concept, I probably would be fine to taste it, but also just with my sugars being a little high. I don't know if I said that. I tested my sugars. I kind of figured they would be. I had a, the smallest bit of cookie dough while I was plating the cookies. And I was at 147 after like an hour eating the cookie dough, two hours after breakfast. So I was not that bad, but for a two hour test, that's not great. For a one hour, it's um, actually not that bad. It's just over 140 is where you want to be within one hour. 120 is two hours. A little shot. <laughs> it's good. Um, yeah, it could be a little more sparkly, so I'm going to add this in, and then we'll add our vodka. It's not, this isn't super sweet, which is kind of nice. It's mm. good. It's good? Yeah, I mean, I still have to add the vodka. But. Okay. So, I literally just dumped in everything. Two things of juice, one can of pineapple juice, six cans of Sprite, and now we're adding in our vodka. Time to get ready with my mattress and all my bedroom furniture behind me from our guest room. But it's about like 1.15-ish 
and I'm going to get ready but not change um, so I can just do the rest and not have to rush um, before people start coming so party starts at 3 we'll see who shows up that early I don't know I don't really know what to expect but just I want to feel not rushed getting ready so otherwise I just end up not getting ready so anyway gonna do my makeup and curl my hair and oh, get myself tan so I could use my favorite foundation and we're gonna do I mean ideally no well the table the island like spread across the island you know yeah, that could be outside. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, feeling pretty good though. Um, the only thing, my feet freaking hurt. When I don't wear shoes and I'm walking around our house and like doing stuff, like I've been so busy. I only sat down long enough to take my blood pressure and it was still high because <laughs> I've just been doing so much stuff. But. Um, so my feet have been hurting. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to like getting dressed and putting on shoes in hopes that it helps because I can't just like sit down all day, you know? I'm a host, this, hostess, things to do. Um, it's also a beautiful day. It's like sunny at 75, which middle of August, couldn't ask for a better day, honestly. Couldn't ask for better weather. Um, so. It's very comfortable. Um, lots of people will be outside, I'm sure. Jonathan is going to set up the garage right now. And um, I need to prep all of the like veggies and dips and stuff and get those plated. Um, but then, I think that's it. No, there's got to be more. I'm missing something. Oh, he is in the process of smoking the mac and cheese. But anyway, I'm going to get ready so I can just kind of zen out. And I'll check back in when we're all ready for the day. Okay, hair and makeup is done. I literally took a full hour getting ready. I never do that. Um, but I love how it all turned out. We'll see if my hair stays. I put so much hairspray in. But anyway, I'm going to go finish prepping and then change, and then it's party time. was so much fun it was so it just like filled my heart <laughs> it made me so happy such a good day um and yeah it was just the best it was so much fun um did I take any I did not take a single picture I took I think maybe three video clips quick like in the middle and then I was just very much in the moment so it was so nice to be able to just like be present um but i wish i would have taken gotten a bit more pictures because i told myself i was i got the polaroid out and everything didn't take a single picture so anyway we were so 
so, so blessed yesterday. I am going to literally cry if I talk too much about it. The amount of, first of all, people that came, the amount of diapers that are in my garage right now, you guys, the stack is taller than I am. I, I haven't even wrapped around my head, wrapped my head around how many diapers are out there right now. And I told Jonathan, I'm like, we also have some gifts to open and stuff, but we're going to do that today. I told Jonathan, I'm like, we need to go through and like, obviously not individually count, but like based on the boxes, count how many diapers this is, because there's got to be thousands of diapers out there. Like, I'm not even kidding. We were so spoiled it was literally perfect just i'm so grateful so happy um I'm not gonna <laughs> cry literally just the fact that so many people went out of their way to spend you know their entire saturday or a portion of their saturday with us to like celebrate this is like this is why i can't do these things you guys <laughs> It's too much, but so grateful. It was such a fun day. And guess what? Everyone was out of my house before 11. <laughs> we were literally getting into bed at like 11 20 and I was like, I'm amazed, but I guess we started early. So anyway, it was such a good day. We were just prep, mad prepping in the morning and then party started at three and everyone started trickling out about 10 30. So it was perfect. And then we cleaned up a little bit and went to bed it was great so anyway super grateful <laughs> clearly a mess um but this morning <laughs> your girl has been up for a while um i woke up at four and could not fall back asleep so i got up at six and i've just been cleaning down here um unload just unloaded the dishwasher reloaded it um washed some dishes wiped down the counters put stuff away um, organize some stuff that we're actually going to take back to Costco because we got too much of a couple things um, and clean the floors you know just was working on getting the house back in order so I also made breakfast um, it's eight o'clock in the dot right now Jonathan is sleeping I don't know how long he's gonna sleep in but um, we have to go to my dad's to pick up the dogs. We did not get them last night. We were going to, but my dad's like, just come tomorrow. It's fine. They can sleep at my house tonight. So we have to go grab the dogs. We're going to open our gifts, sort through all the diapers. House is clean. I feel good about it. We do need to do laundry and like wash our sheets and that, all that stuff, you know, Sunday stuff, but feeling good. All right. I'm going to chill for a little while until Jonathan gets up and then we're going to see what we got up to today. All right, we are off to get the doggies for my dad's. little staycation at grandpa's oh he's so tired you had to put it to brother and Gigi and honey all right you guys i just added up our total diaper count three thousand seven hundred and ninety four diapers we are gifted that is insane <laughs> that is wild <sighs> And I think I showed you guys already the stack. She is a masterpiece. I'm going to start dividing them up by sizes so we can organize them in her closet because I I don't even know if there's going to be enough room in that closet for all of these. So here we go. We also were gifted wipes. I didn't even go through and count the wipes, but whew. lots of things. Lots of day peace.
Got them all divided by size. Here we are. Ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and then wipes. So we are set for quite a while. <laughs> Um, we will definitely have to stock up on more threes, but you know, that's fine. Um, and the fours, we got lots of fours, which actually several moms were telling me that that's perfect because they're in fours for the longest. So that's awesome. And then fives, I'm assuming by the time we get to fives, we'll probably be working on potty training. I don't know for sure, but that might be our motivation to, uh, work on some potty training got wipes over here now we have to fit these all in somewhere <laughs> we honestly might need to make room on a shelf out here like up here or something for some extras like the you know some fours and fives that we won't need for a while but you guys this is crazy almost four thousand diapers and god knows how many wipes we're so, so lucky.